So my name is Alex. My name is Iman. And we just got Iman's K1 fiance visa issued uh, last week. So we're feeling really good about it. Exactly one year after we applied. Yes. We're really grateful to Immigration for Couples for helping us along the way. And it's been a really smooth process. In terms of emotional impact or stress, I think we were pretty much confident overall. Uh, to be completely honest, I, I was sometimes a little bit anxious just because we were just waiting and we did not know when the answer would come. Uh, for me, that was like the tougher part, just, just the wait, just waiting and not being able to do anything because, well, you have to wait for them to give you any feedback. Uh, we traveled a lot, we spent a lot of time with family and friends. Uh, that time also allowed us to get to know our respective families a little bit more, because his family is in the US, my family was a little bit scattered, but most of them were in Morocco. Uh, but we were able to travel with our family in different places, which I think was very important during that time to just make it even stronger like the relationship and the dynamic between both families yeah and one quick thing that i'll add is you know in the waiting period yes you're waiting but you're also planning for the next step and that's where immigration for couples was really helpful we were always one step ahead of where we needed to be they were always reaching out to us proactively and telling us what documents and what information we needed to have ready for the next step so uh, i really felt comfortable that we were in good hands the whole time We were surprised that the approval got way earlier than we expected. I think at least seven or eight months earlier than the expected date. Uh, so that was a really nice surprise. And the next phase was basically waiting for the embassy to reach out to us and tell us that our case is ready for them to like start working on it. The good news is that in the meantime, we had the chance to get a proper engagement party in Morocco. So we had both our families, we were like 80 people, a very private family, but yeah, we had uh, we had a lot of fun and we had a really nice just time with everybody to celebrate that. And the good thing is that we actually received the approval while we were in Morocco. So right before our engagement party. So that, that was actually a really, really good time to celebrate. So I was a little bit stressed just because, again, this was the last step and it would all come down to their approval, so whoever was going to conduct the interview. But I still felt confident because I did have all the necessary documents. We had our interview package, which was big like this, ready at least two or three weeks before. Um, so that was very helpful to just help me be more confident. Uh, the interview was in two steps, which I did not know. Uh, the first step basically was just to give the, the documents to one person to make sure that we had everything. But again, Immigration for Couples really made us be over prepared. So we had so many documents that we didn't even use. But that's a good thing because at least we were really well prepared. And the next phase of the interview was the actual interview with the person who was asking me questions about my relationship with Alex and how we met and how we live our life together. And I guess because we lived together and we had a strong case, the interview was pretty quick and easygoing and that just made me feel very comfortable. And right at the end, the, the officer just said that the case was approved and the visa was approved and I would get it in a few days. And that was like the relief, like the way it was like, okay, like we got this, this is what we were waiting for. And it just gave us that momentum to keep moving forward and be able to plan for the next step, which is moving to the U.S. Next week, we will move to the U.S. and we will immediately uh, go through the, the formal process of, of getting married in the U.S. And then we will get a, a social security number for Iman. We will... Uh, submit for her actual green card application, work permit, uh, travel permit, all these different things. And then we'll have another little bit of a waiting period while we're waiting for those things to be issued. But uh, again, we've already started 
working with Immigration for Couples to compile all that information and, and be ready even before we move to the U.S. So we're, we're feeling good about our next steps from here. Uh, the U.S. is such a big country. It's not my first time there, but obviously I've never lived there. So it's going to be a new chapter for me as well. Uh, but I'm actually looking forward to being in a new country with different cultures, because it's not just one culture. I know it, like there's the U.S. culture, but the beauty of the country is that it's very diversified. And I'm looking forward to experiencing that. And looking towards the future, um, we get to focus on all the fun stuff now. We get to focus on planning our wedding with all of our family and friends. We get to focus on, uh, you know, working to build a family together. We get to focus on, you know, seeing all the folks in the U.S. that we haven't seen for, for years. And um, we're just really excited for this next chapter because this is what it's all about. And Immigration for Couples really helped us to be able to take this next step.